And Billy, have you noticed how terrible the buying of new books are? I haven't been buying any new books. <laughs> Billy, I got kicked out of the comic book store a couple of years ago. So all I've been doing is buying auctions uh, that I can find. Have I buy, bought anything in the last two years? No. Uh, any new comics, like anything that's been released in the last two years? No. Uh, actually, maybe one of the graphic novels is uh, that I bought. Uh, dates are okay. Dates are okay, all the guy, for sure. Uh, so, no, I haven't noticed. And I just, like, I'm reading some of the older stuff, some a lot of indie stuff that I've had in my collection. Man, I'm really enjoying that. I just, uh, so it's great. And I'm loving finding amazing deals. Um uh, for auctions right there's some books i'm trying to get that are more high-end but uh, i'm being outbid unfortunately that sucks yeah ali dates and cheese delicious mr chang salutations hope you're doing well on sensor 2 good to see you as well i got kicked out billy because i refused to wear a mask in the comic book store right i wouldn't do it I told him. I told the owner. One of the, someone complained, and then one of the co-workers there, I, he didn't like me because I told him that, that that co-worker loved the Mandalorian. By the way, so one like when the Mandalorian season one was over, I was in the comic book store, right, and we were talking about, you know, sampling shows, movies, TV shows, and I said, yeah, the Pirate Bay is your friend. He goes. But, 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 but Hollywood needs to make more money. And I know people who are working in the industry and they get hurt by this. But it's just bullshit, right? He's just parroting bullshit. He goes, because, because if, if people kept on doing this, you couldn't have the Mandalorian. And I, and I turned to him and said, <laughs> I, said I was the counter paying for my stuff. And it was on a Wednesday and it was packed. There was a lot of people there. And he, and he just kept on saying this. And he goes, we wouldn't have the Mandalorian. And I, and I, I looked him in the eyes. I go, fuck the Mandalorian. And I said it loud. And everyone in the store went, ooh. And they turned around because they knew me. We were the Wednesday crowd, right? We go there Wednesday mornings to buy our comic books. So like six, it was at least six, seven, eight people, right? At the racks, you know, they bought their pulled you know, uh, their their pull boxes. They had their comics, and they're picking more stuff at the right. <laughs> and there's people over there, over there, right? And they all went, "Ooh!" <laughs> and I told them, I told them the story of man, it was low IQ stuff and an insult to my thing. The the, the robot guy shooting the Mandalorian, the greatest guy comes out and goes, you know, runs out. He goes, "Hey, buddy!" And the guy shoots him. I go, "What? What? That's an insult! What a piece of garbage show!" And he really got offended. So it was him that when I came out without the mask, I was paying for my books. When he got the owner, and the owner came out and said, Listen, Chicho, you got to wear a mask. I go, Look, man, I could tell you I'm exempt, but I'd be lying because I'm not exempt. I, just, I won't do this. I won't do this anymore, right? I'm not going to wear a mask because these tyrants are collapsing Canada. It's tyranny coming into Canada. If you're a true Canadian, you stand up, stand up against this, All right? And then one, another, one, one of the, Wednesday crowd that everybody hates one of the uh, regulars there that everybody hates the owners they hate the owner hates them the workers there hate him everybody that goes and gets their comic books there hates this piece of crap the guy came out and said hey buddy I have a heart condition you know uh, I appreciate if you wear your mask I go no man it, 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 it's tyranny Canada's collapsing look at all the stores closing down all right this is I, I'm Canadian I'm going to defend Canada I'm not going to buy it by illegal mandates and he goes well you, you know because I, I turn around and said it's my right not to wear a mask there, there's no law that says i have to wear a mask it's, 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 it's a mandate it's not a law and he goes well for, your your rights disappear as soon as you walk through the door and I, <laughs> no it doesn't i kept on talking with the owner right and the guy goes look yeah someone might complain and the owner was really nice other than supporting tyranny really nice he goes oh you can come before hours 
or and I'll give you your books uh, I'll bring them to your to the door for you that you can pick them up so you don't have to come and I go no man I'm not gonna be treated as a second-class citizen I'm not I don't have no that's that's not a free society I'm not gonna do that because oh someone might complain to the government and they'll come and shut me down I said look man you have to make the decision you know you don't want me here without a mask then close my box and give me my comics this last time i'll buy them and bye bye and i haven't been back since right i thought at some point i might go back but no i can't go back what the fuck <laughs> see i should have turned around to the guy who came up and said i have a heart congestion I said did you get that from the injection <laughs> oh i forgot i shouldn't be tapping i'm tapping the lapel mic here man i gotta go edit that out later right and those of you who are listening this on soundcloud uh apologies about the tapping sound if i don't catch it uh whacking your system your ears yeah rat rats rat rats 